welcome to today's prophetic word. I'm Kay Nash, and today I'm feeling from the Lord, get up, get up, saints of God. Mm. All right, let's go into this today. Proverbs 24, 16. Though a righteous man falls seven times, he will get up, but the wicked will stumble into ruin. Just because you fell doesn't mean you're not going to get back up. Mm. All right, let's get into the raiment. It is time for my children to get up. Though they may be wounded, I am the healer of the brokenhearted. I am the firecracker of faith and move them into their new beginning with me. You will get up. Your fire will return and everything will change for you. My anointing is still on you. Get up, saints of God. I know you are tired. I know you made mistakes. I know you're not feeling like you want to do it, but it's time to get up and move forward in the name of Jesus. Get up and move forward. It's time to get up and move forward. You know, it says the righteous fall. You know, the righteous even make mistakes. You are not going to be perfect. That's what Jesus came for. So you need to get up and start going again in the name of Jesus. Now, another thing he said to, to us this morning was, I'm the healer brokenhearted, referencing Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. It also is referencing Isaiah 61. I have come to mend the brokenhearted. So God is saying right now, he's near you, beloved. Hmm. He's near you in your time of pain, the time when you're questioning who you are, why you're doing this, why you're out there, who are you to even do this, why should you be doing this, are you good enough to do this, and all your insecurities wrapped in a ball of God saying, let me heal your heart. He's close to you. He's whispering to you, I love you. You are okay, and you are going to make it out of this. You are going to make it out of this. This might seem like not what you want. This might not seem, Jesus, perfect, but God's telling you right now, you're going to make it out of it. Though the righteous fall seven times, he will get up. I really want you to meditate on that verse today. Though the righteous fall seven times, he gets up. You know, we all make mistakes. There's things we all do, and we're like, why did I do that? I can't believe I did that. Who, You know, and sometimes people just get around you and be like, why did you do that? And you're like, like you didn't do anything. <laughs> you know, it's just like we're all broken. And so I just want to encourage you today, just try again. Give, dust yourself off with some grace. You know, sometimes you got to say to yourself, you know, the Bible says that his mercies are new each morning. You got to, sometimes I just say to myself, God, I receive your mercy. I receive your grace this morning. And I start going towards the next thing. You know, it's like, especially you ministers, you people in leadership, you business owners, you know, you people that are in high level positions, you might be a principal of a school, you know, I don't know what it is for you, you might be in charge of the management team, you might be in charge of the curriculum, you might be just the Bible study leader, whatever it is, you moms, you know, sometimes when you're in a position of leadership, it's like, you, when you fall, you just, you beat yourself up so much. Leaders are so bad for this. You'll just beat yourself up time and time and time again. And you just, the devil doesn't even need to bother you. You're harassing yourself. You're telling yourself you're a piece of junk. You're telling yourself you're stupid. You're telling yourself all this stuff. And God's saying, wipe it off, beloved. His mercy is enough for you. You know, sometimes we reject the grace of God and we have to step into it more and say, God, I receive your grace. Don't push away the grace of God that that's for everyone else, but not for you. It's for you too. Let yourself have grace this morning. Let yourself have mercy. I know it's not morning everywhere, but let yourself have grace and mercy. I just want to encourage you. I know that we've been in a, a weird state of the world right now, and you might feel like, I don't, I, I just don't feel right. Like, I don't, I'm not doing things the way I used to. And some of you might not even be sin per se. You might have just lost your momentum. You might have just lost your pace, and you're mad that you've lost your pace. Some of you have lost businesses. I've had messages from you that have lost businesses. Some of you have lost loved ones, and you're beating yourself up and saying, why am I getting nothing done? Because you got to mourn, Okay. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself space to mourn. You know, that's okay. It's okay to be in this. I feel the Holy Ghost. It's okay to be in the season that you're in. It doesn't have to look like everybody else's season. You know, I think there was times where I was like just confused. You know, I wasn't always in ministry. I worked in television. And though I kept getting promoted, I was also getting passed over for things. I know it sounds weird because I would get promoted, but it was like there was like a glass ceiling for me. It was like, okay, like I'm going up in positions, but there's like a glass ceiling. Like I can't only go so high here. And I like knew that. And I didn't understand why. If I worked harder, if I put more hours in, if I was 
better if I made more money, like whatever. It didn't matter. There was like a glass ceiling. And for a while, I felt like an idiot or I felt like unloved or not good enough in television at times. And ultimately, God was just trying to leave me out of there. God was just trying to be like, uh, this ain't your lane. Get out. And what I didn't, what I first thought was a demonic ceiling was actually a ceiling that God used to protect me, to push me in ministry. Okay, sometimes there's things you don't understand. You know, God, His ways are not your ways. His thoughts are not your thought. And sometimes you just got to trust the process and say, God, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're doing it. But let me just walk with you. Let me just love on you. You love on me. And let me just be at peace and content with where I am. Sometimes contentment is important. You know, I'm definitely a runner. I'm definitely like, let's go get this done. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. But sometimes I just have to sit there and say, if nothing works out the way I want to, I'm just going to sit here in the peace of God. The peace of God is like my favorite thing. (laughs) Just sitting in the peace of God. Just peace is so important to me. So my prayer for you today is that you feel peace. You get back up. And if you've lost somebody, you're going through something, give yourself some grace and mercy, especially you leaders. Don't beat yourself up. The devil, don't let the devil beat you up and don't do it to yourself. There's mercy and grace for you. Jesus died for you not to get beat up emotionally all the time. And some of you, that's from your childhood. Some of you, that's from things your parents or relatives have told you. It breaks now in the name of Jesus. It breaks now in the name of Jesus. You get to be free. You get to be whole and you get to be healed in Jesus' name. All right, you guys, that was a short word this morning to encourage you, but I hope that it did. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. And if you're new, we'll be delivering words every morning at that time um, until September 16th. And so feel free to join us and subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Talk to you then. Bye.